The Norfolk Public Schools District is hoping to welcome back students sooner than initially planned. And tonight, school board members approved changes to the return school to school plan to determine the timeline for when campuses can reopen. Then at your side's Gina Arevalo has those details. Students will still be learning remotely for the time being, but the district will now just be looking at three core metrics to decide when schools can reopen instead of core and secondary metrics as originally planned. According to the CDC's guidance, school districts don't need to use those secondary metrics when planning a reopening timeline. In person learning is long overdue. We need to get the students back into the buildings as quickly as possible. The district will also begin phasing in students when COVID cases and percent positivity rates are in the moderate risk levels. They say with the vaccine now on the market and more information available, they see a promising path forward. I think we could still be safe. And at any point in time, I, I know that members of this board are always willing to come back to the table should we need to reconsider. Finally, the board is allowing the NPS administration to decide the transition time between each group of students that are phased in. Originally, the transition time in between phases was three weeks, but the board says it has confidence that Dr. Birdsong and her team will bring students back as quickly and efficiently as possible. The metrics should determine when we transition students back into the schools. Right now, there's no tentative date to reopen. They'll monitor those numbers over the break and discuss the issue again at their January meeting. Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.